Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and in this video we're going to be looking at how to perform zone transfers. Now this is going to be the last video in my DNS series that I sort of started yesterday and uh, the objective was to essentially take you through DNS enumeration and zone transfers and here we are. Alright, so the first question you might be having is what exactly is a zone transfer? Well, a zone transfer is the process of replicating or copying a DNS database or the zone file from a primary DNS server to a secondary DNS server. I'll explain what a, uh, a zone file is and why this is sort of important. All right, now its corresponding DNS query or record is the AXFR record, as I mentioned in my previous DNS video. All right, so the second question you might be having is why is all of this important or valuable? Well, it's all important because the zone file contains all the DNS names that are defined for that particular DNS server. So the zone file essentially contains all the IP addresses of servers and hosts and as a result this can be very useful for an attacker as they're able to find important info like the internal network and the, uh, the internal network uh, and various domains under a particular organization. Now of course this does not give him anything important in regards to exploitation of the system but it gives the attacker a very good understanding of how uh, uh, an organization is set up, what internal domains exist and also the external domains. All right, so the main issue or advantage, depending on whether or not you see it as an attacker or a defender, is that many DNS servers are misconfigured. And uh, as a result of this, the, DN, uh, the, the DNS server or the zone file can be replicated to an unauthorized secondary DNS server, which means you can essentially get all the IP addresses of the servers, hosts, whether they belong to the internal network or the external network that belong to a particular organization. All right, so this is a very common uh, misconfiguration of, of DNS servers and it can give you plenty of information. So again, the tools we'll be using are going to be host, dig and NS lookup. Uh, and of course, I'll be showing you at the end of the video to use an automated tool like DNS Recon, which I don't recommend if you're a beginner. I recommend going through the uh, the manual tool so that you understand what's going on at least. Uh, and the website we'll be using is zonetransfer.me because it best explains how this is done and the potential information you can find. All right, so the, uh, the address is zonetransfer.me. And I'll give you this beautiful website. And again, it'll have the alias here, which is digi.ninja. But the main domain is zonetransfer.me, zone so we're ready to go. All right, so the first tool we're going to be using is host. We'll then move on to dig and then finally NS lookup. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going to open up my terminal here and we can get uh, started with host. Now, in the previous video, I told you how to essentially enumerate the name servers. Uh, so I'll show you again. So host T uh, and then we specify uh, the, uh, the type, which is name servers, and then uh, the website address, which is zonetransfer.me. And uh, our main goal here uh, is to essentially enumerate the name servers after which we can use the, any of those name servers to sort of see which one is vulnerable to a zone transfer. All right, so zone transfer dot me hit enter. It tells us we have two name servers. We have uh, NSZTM1 and NSZTM2. So these are all potential candidates. So let's start off with the first one here and I'll just copy that. Uh, and now to perform the, the zone transfer with host, we type in host. L, that is the parameter we specify, and then the domain itself, zone, zone transfer dot me. Uh, sorry about this, guys. Uh, zone transfer dot me, and then finally we specify uh, the uh, the actual name server that we want to perform this attack on, or really this query on, because this isn't really an attack. Uh, or we can try it on the first one and the second one. So I'll try it with the first one here. If that doesn't work, I'll try it on the second one. So I'll hit enter. And immediately you can see it does work. And what this does is it dumps, uh, it'll, you'll, it'll dump or you'll get the entire zone file that contains all the IPs here. So uh, you can see that uh, the address is given right over here. That is the name server, uh, the name server address and the port right over here. You can see that the zone transfer dot me has the address. You have the name servers. Uh, looks like we have other records here. We have, these look like internal records to me. So for example, email.zonetransfer.me, that's a potential external uh, domain that you should try. But then we have the internal zonetransfer.me, uh, which has its own uh, it, its own name servers here. You then have uh, internal subdomains right over here, which are, are potential targets once you have access to the network. But uh, that is how to perform a zone transfer with host. And uh, this is an example of a zone file that contains 
uh, all the various IPs uh, and, uh, and, and all, whether they're external or internal. All right, so now let's take a look at how to perform it with DIG, all right, because DIG is pretty much everyone's favorite tool here. All right, so with DIG, again, the process is very simple. We, again, we need to uh, probe uh, for the name server. So, uh, so zone, zone transfer dot me. And again, I keep on getting this, uh, this spelling wrong, zone transfer dot me. And again, we specify T and NS. And again, we will get them in the answer, uh, the answer section here. We have the, uh, the two name servers that we're working with. So I'll copy that one more time. I'll clear my terminal and we can get started with the zone transfer. So remember, in the previous video when I was talking about records, I mentioned the AXFR record, which is in reference to, uh, uh, to, to it is in reference to a zone transfer. So if you didn't understand it, I pretty much explained it in the previous video. So we need to specify that as our as our record. So we're going to say dig AXFR and then we specify the domain itself. Uh, sorry, zone, um, zone tron. On transfer.me and then uh, we need to use the at sign here to specify what name server we are we are selecting and we hit enter and we'll give that a few seconds and there we go now the thing i like about dig as you pretty much already have guessed is it is it gives you the records and the uh, the ttl here which is excellent so we have uh, the zone transfer.me and we have the various records that belong to it so we have uh, the a record here which we know the uh, name servers uh, we have the mail uh, the mail servers here uh, which is MX right over here, as I mentioned in the previous video. We have a TXT record, which gives us uh, the Google site verification, which means the site is verified, which is gives you a bit of information. Uh, we then have the HINFO here, which tells us Casio FX. It gives us uh, just a bit of random information. As I said, this website is set to, to actually show you what a potential zone transfer will reveal. So there might be a bit of trolling going on here, as you pretty much would have guessed. Um, we then have, um, uh, let's see if we can find something important. Yeah, like here, there we go. So we have a TXT record here, which is in reference to the contact.zonetransfer.me. And uh, this is essentially a note for the potential administrator. We then have, uh, uh, we have, then have the AAA records uh, and we have dead beef. So yeah, it, there's a bit of trolling going on for, very, uh, for these various domains here. So you can go ahead and explore it. It's all really very interesting and it sort of gives you an idea of what a potential zone transfer would look like. All right, so that is how to perform a zone transfer with DIG. And finally, let's take a look at NSLOOKUP. Now, uh, many people actually uh, commented on the previous video and actually sent me personal messages on Facebook saying why I uh, actually used NSLOOKUP. And uh, the answer for that is because you can use NSLOOKUP on Windows. I don't think you guys actually remember that NSLOOKUP is also a tool you can use on Windows, which means you can perform uh, these uh, these queries on Windows. And I'll show you that in a second. So as I mentioned in the previous video, performing a simple uh, name server lookup with NSLOOKUP is very, very simple. So NSLOOKUP right over here. And then I can say, I can set the type that we're we are potentially interested in as the name servers and then zone transfer dot me and hit enter and it gives us that right over here well for some reason uh whoops sorry i actually set the type incorrectly uh, and that is equal to ns and then zone transfer dot me and there we are so we do get uh the uh the, the particular uh, so sorry about uh, the put the particular name servers that we've been getting with all the other tools all right so now uh, i'll show you how to do it on windows so let me just open up my command prompt here and uh, what i'll do is sorry about that i'll just show you this side by side so when using ns lookup on windows again the syntax is very very simple all i need to do now to perform the zone transform windows is simply type in ns lookup and it brings up uh, the same prompt that we have on linux so there we are it gives us our uh, our DNS server, um, which is pretty cool. And then uh, we need to specify the server. So we're going to say the server that we are probing actively is NSZ. Uh, let me just see if I can copy this tm1.dg.ninja. All right. And I hit enter and uh, it's going to give us the address, which is cool. And then finally, we can set the type as uh, any because we're not specifying any particular records here. So set type is any. Uh, and then we can we type in the command for to perform a um, a zone transfer which is ls d uh, and then the the name of the domain so zone 
zone transfer dot me and I'll hit, I'll hit enter and there we are. So uh, the thing I like about um, about NS Lookup is that it it does sort the information uh, similar to what you have with Dig, but it sort of gives you uh, a bit more of information. So for example, we have the email, we have home, we have info. And we have something dead beef here, which is seems to be uh, an A record, an AAAA record, which again has the IPv6 address of dead beef. So you get the idea here. We have a uh, potential internal addresses here, uh, like uh, IPv6 actnow.org and the, its uh, its address, its IPv6 address. And we have uh, C names like Sydney Opera House, which I believe is an internal. Is sort of like an internal C name, which uh, which would essentially redirect staging and the other C names here to the Sydney uh, to the Sydney Opera House, and uh, you get the idea. So that is how to perform uh, a zone transfer with a dig NS lookup and host. And uh, now let me finally end the video by showing you one of the automated tools because a lot of you guys were crying for that. I am not going to make a video on the automated tools because they essentially get rid of the whole understanding process, which is quite important. So uh, one of the recommended tools was DNS Recon, which is again, it automates the entire process and it sort of gives you a summary of all the information. So DNS Recon and we use the domain specification. So zone zone transfer dot me now don't get me wrong these tools are excellent and they automate the entire process but again my goal is to explain how it's done and what information you'll get so we're going to specify t and axfr as the record and hit enter so there we are let it just complete and i'll give you all the information we've been able to get but it is automated uh, in in the in the form of one sort of command here so you can see that we have uh it's going to test the name servers it gives us the the name servers and their addresses uh, it then starts the zone transfer on the first uh, on the first name server here which is uh, nsztm1 it gives us the addresses and then finally starts to enumerate or gives us uh, the, uh, the the it's essentially enumerates the or dumps the zone file for us here which will contain all the potential ip addresses now i haven't tried it on the second name server so that's something that you guys should try let me know what you find if there's anything interesting and yeah that's pretty much going to be it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or suggestions let me know in the comment section on my social networks on the forum at hackersploit.org uh, if you want to support the channel, you can do so on Patreon. We really appreciate all the support you guys are giving us. And we'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace, guys.